because of the increase in bad weather, earthquakes, tsunamis, um, I'm not sure what this word is, but I'm, I'm guessing this is all natural disasters. Because of the increases of natural disasters and floods and things like this, does it appear as though this is part of the biblical text, or is this simply mankind wrecking the planet? That's this the is question. mankind wrecking the planet. This is called uh, weather modification. Mm -hmm. That's a whole story that, that most people have never heard. I've sat and talked with the scientists and physicists that work for the U.S. government and NASA, and in private conversations, I've sat and talked with them about what is going on with the weather of this world. And they tell me that there's something called ELF, extreme low frequency ELF and and uh, I could quickly just tell you that off the coast of the United States in in, in Alaska off the coast of Alaska going uh, eastward toward Russia there's a series of, of islands called the Aleutian Islands off the coast of Alaska and on that last little island on the American side uh, there's also a series of little islands off the coast of, of uh, Russia in the same area. And they and they have little islands going toward America. And on the last island, I am told, on the last island on the Russian side, is <clears throat> they, uh, Russia has put a gigantic uh, atomic uh, power plant on that little island that's closest to America, uh, that little island has a has a big power plant, uh, a nuclear power plant, and why? Well, because they've got a station, some kind of an electrical radio or some kind of a station out there, but it uses so much electricity they have to generate their own nuclear power to even run this station on that little island. Mm. And what it is on that station, we now know that there are like two large discs, uh, you know, those those, uh, those discs that we see in, in Goldstone, Arizona, and that kind of thing. Well, these are two large discs, and, uh, and, and one of them, they're like plates, the big ones, and, and so they're connected to a computer. And so if Russia wants to cause trouble somewhere, they want to cause any kind of terrible weather, they direct uh, one of those disks and put it into the computer, uh, and then they put it uh, the same thing into the other computer, and, it, and the other disk turns the opposite way. Uh, one is going northward, and one's going eastward. And now when they, when they jack up the power, and they're sending out an electrical signal, which is extremely powerful, uh, because they have to have a nuclear plant to just pump the, the electricity into this thing. Mm. One of those disks are sending out a powerful electrical signal north going around the world. It will go around the earth and come right back where it's, you know, because it's going one straight line. But the other one that's pointing east or west, uh, it has to be east or west, they in that, that one sends out a signal and it goes around the world and comes back, but where the two signals cross uh, is in the computer and wherever it crosses. Now, once they cross, you can. It's now called ELF, extreme low frequency. Now you can manipulate the power going into both of those uh, both of those lines of power going around the world, and they connect somewhere on the Earth, on the other side of the Earth. And so where they connect, you can now cause a volcano to erupt. You can cause an earthquake. You can cause uh, 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 hurricanes or tornadoes, and depending on how much power you pump into it and where you are designing that cross point with the two things that are going to cross on the other side of the world, you figure out where it is and what the weather's like, and now you can cause the rains to come and flood or if it's a rainy area and, and, and a jungle, you could cause uh, no rain to fall at all, period. And you go for droughts. 
Uh, and so it's called ELF, and it's a, it's a fascinating story about how Russia controls the weather. Mm. Well, we know we're doing the same thing. We call it HARP, and we've got ELF frequencies also. We're using it militarily, just like Russians are. But the bottom line is, to the answer to the question, yes, we are causing most of these uh, uh, terrible things that are happening on the earth. That's between Russia and us. Mm. We're hurting them, they're hurting us, and we hurt their friends, and they hurt our friends, and we cause uh, earthquakes and volcanoes. Well, they're doing the same thing. And so the, the, all of these things we're seeing happening, yeah, we are causing, we humans. We, we're, we're great at science. We love science. We don't care about life. Mm. So, so it's, it's called weather. ELF. Yeah. Go back and just research ELF, ELF, extreme low frequency, and and it's it's basically weather warfare between That's whoever and whoever. I mean, it really is irrelevant when it's being done on such a mass scale. Who's doing it? It's just uh, the fact that it is human driven. Okay, so there's the answer to that question. Hopefully, that works for you.